Good morning students. Today we will read the poem Aunt Jennifer's Tigers written by Edwin Rich. In the previous video I taught you the first stanza of the poem and I told you that this poem in this poem the poet talks about the constraints of married life and romantic experiences. Now, as you know, there is a panel that Aunt Jennifer is creating. And now let us read the poem. Let us read the second stanza. Aunt Jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool. Find even the ivory needle hard to pull, the massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. Now, as I have told you that Aunt Jennifer was creating a tapestry, she was doing a bribery on a panel, and while doing it, her fingers were fluttering, her fingers were trembling and she was finding this ivory needle difficult to pull. Ivory needle that is the needle made of the, from the teeth of the elephant that is ivory needle. Now the massive weight, massive weight means too much big weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. Here you can see uncle's massive band, wedding band that is worn on the hand. Massive hand, a massive band that is worn on the hand. Then massive, here you can have a look at the difficult words. Massive is heavy. Wedding band means when we get to be fine, marital duties. Ordeals means unpleasant or painful experiences. Master means controlled. Panel means blackboard. Fluttering means moving with light, irregular, trembling motion. So now in this stanza, the poet says that Aunt Jennifer's hands are moving about her wool to create beautiful images of tigers. But the movement is not easy and smooth. She finds the ivory needle very hard to pull through wool. Uncle's wedding band seems very heavy on her hand. She feels burdened with her marital responsibilities. She always fears from her husband and her marital life is further from her. So that is the second stanza. Now six stanza three. When aunt is dead, her terrified hands will laugh. And here when a person dies, then the person does not have any sensation, any feeling. But here the poet says, her terrified hands, how the hands can be terrified. Here, the boy wants to convey that even when Aunt Jennifer dies, but still the women, they will remain terrified. The male dominant. Still ringed with ordeals, she was mastered by. Ordeals, as you know, what are the ordeals? Ordeals are the unpleasant and painful experiences. And the tigers in the panel that she made will go on dancing. The tigers that she made in the panel will go on dancing, will go on jumping, proud and unafraid. Here the tigers are symbolic of the male dominance. The boy wants to convey that the male dominance will still be there. It is symbolic of the male dominance. So now here 
can see that when Aunt Jennifer dies one day, her frightened hands will finally be still. Yet they will still be marked by the difficulties that rule over her while she is alive. Meanwhile, the tiger she created will continue to leap across her fatal point without shame or fear. So here, in this poem, the poet has talked of the male dominance. And so it says that the male dominance will still be there. And the woman will always will be having a desire to be free like those types. So that is about this poem. And in the next video, we will discuss the questions based on this poem. Revise the poem. Thank you.